Good evening. I'm Dick Norris. Eyewitness News. It's more than our name. It's what we do. It is with heavy hearts tonight that we report the loss of a former colleague, mentor, and most of all, friend. Dick Norse passed away at the age of 83. To honor his more than four decades as the face of KSL, we continue to reflect on the tremendous legacy he leaves behind. And I figured no one better to do that than four people who knew and loved him and worked with him. It is with heavy hearts, all of us. Carol, you worked alongside him the, the longest. Well, there are so many memories flooding back, but I think we all remember the joy with which he approached uh, his love of this journalism uh, in which we are all engaged. And he never, he always made us laugh before he made us concentrate. And I watched him every day, every script, check every fact. And if he wasn't sure he went to the reporter and wasn't clear, then it was fixed. If you want to get it right, then you say it the right way. Every single time, I've never forgotten his constancy mm -hmm. day in and day out. Uh, and and I, I have such wonderful memories of that. I try to do the same thing. Yeah, I, I have equally fond memories in that he loved and treated everyone wonderfully. Yes. And people loved him for it. And you knew that when you went anywhere with Dick, whether it was a story, whether you went to Greece. and he, People thronged him. They loved him. And even in, in Greece, when we're covering the story on a different continent, within hours he was at the embassy office as the guest of honor. <laughs> the thing I remember about Dick is that even just as a young journalist, I I started here my first year was his last year mm -hmm. and he remembered everybody's names he asked questions like you said journalism was always top of mind for him so he wanted to know what you were doing why you were doing it but he would always come into the newsroom singing yes. uh, he'd go for a lunch break but then come back and he would come in with that low baritone voice and he would be singing some song and and just you wanted to be around him. He was a magnet. And as someone who grew up in this market and wanted to be like him and then to be here with him, could you imagine sitting down? Yeah. I've got Dick Norris on Dream. one side of me and Bruce Lindsay on yep. the other. I was terrified. Same. But the yeah. respect. He was just, he, yes. you, he, he spoke and you listened. Yeah. Yeah. I was across town at another station when he was there. But here's the thing. Everyone, it didn't matter if you worked here. Even though I didn't know him personally, we watched. And he was a standard. When it came to anchoring the news and being a journalist, he was the standard. And so it wasn't just here in KSL. It was all newsrooms across not only Salt Lake City, but also across the country, too. You mentioned KSL anywhere across the country. Dick Norris and KSL. They're together. Yep. Yeah. They're together. And today we're hearing from colleagues uh, throughout the city who are sharing our loss and, and enjoying um, the moment of, of those memories uh, with Dick because he did. He would be out and about, and I'm sure he commented on their stories yeah. and how they were doing them as well, and they appreciated that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank, thank you, all. you. Yeah, all that insight, fantastic, yeah. thank you. Stay with KSL as we remember Dick Norse coming up. At 6.30 tonight, we're going to share more on his life, his career, and the incredible legacy that he leaves behind.